today. We'll be making quite a few stops. We have been very encouraged. A lot of people do identify me with another generation, the younger generation, who's so enthusiastic about uh, the things that we've been talking about and going back uh, to the Constitution. So this to me is very encouraging because uh, uh, the growth of the freedom movement is getting to be exponential. It was very, very slow for a long time. Intellectually, it's been around for quite a few years, 30, 40 years. At least there's been a remnant of people holding these ideas of, of personal liberty together and the kind of thing that was embedded in our Constitution. But now, out of necessity, I think what's happening is people, whether young or old, are realizing what we have today is unsustainable. You just can't keep borrowing money and printing money and bailing out everybody and think it's going to last forever. And we know there's going to be an end point. And to me, I fight for this cause because I would like to see the transition be smooth. I would like to see us cut back on spending, balance the budget, restore constitutional liberty, restore sound money. If we do that, we can avoid this pro these problems getting much worse. But if we continue to do what we do, uh, what we're doing, we're going to see a breakdown, a further breakdown of the economy, and it's a worldwide phenomenon. And that is indeed a threat to our liberties. Too often, the people, when they're frightened, there's chaos. They we, they they claim we need more government. Like after 9/11, the solution wasn't uh, to give to uh, have more government intrusion into your lives, and that is what really happened. I mean, they thought that the answer to the threat of uh, Al Qaeda was to take away your Fourth Amendment, which the Patriot Act does. We don't need to undermine our liberty. We need to understand how liberty protects us. It doesn't undermine our security if we protect liberty. Yeah. <laughs> 